Australia's international border has also reopened almost 600 days after it shut because of the pandemic. About 1,500 people had been expected to fly into Sydney and Melbourne today. The government says that the country is ready for takeoff, with vaccination rates now high enough to mitigate the risks of allowing international visitors to enter. Tears of joy as families reunite after nearly two years. The first flights into Sydney arrive from Singapore and Los Angeles, with scenes like these playing out all day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How's it feel to be on Australian shores? Oh, it's great. It's um, so happy for the government that they decided to do this. I think it's a great decision in terms of opening everything up again. It feels really good. I'm actually here for my dad's funeral. So I've been trying to come home for a year and a half. For the last 19 months, Australians have been banned from travelling overseas without permission. Families were split across continents and tens of thousands of nationals were stranded overseas. Now that vaccination rates are up, citizens and permanent residents can travel freely without quarantine to Sydney and Melbourne. This is a big deal. We've been locked out and to finally have this chance to come back, it's just amazing. So we're a bit um, overwhelmed and we just can't wait to see our family. It's going to be amazing. How oh, fantastic. It's so great to be back. I'm going to see my husband in about two minutes in the Kelpie, so I'm very excited. But the million over foreign residents in Australia will have to wait a little longer to leave. The ease travel rules do not apply to them just yet. Australian states with lower vaccination rates are also still virtually closed to the world, with mandatory and costly 14-day quarantines.